What's good, everyone? It's your boy, King Shot. Hey, everyone, it's Shy. What's good, y'all? I'm Jay. And this is a special episode of The Fashion Hall. Now, nigga, that. Now, nigga, that. Now, nigga, that's fast. Now, nigga, that. Now, nigga, that. Now, nigga, that. Now, nigga, that's fast. Now, nigga, that. Now, nigga, that. Now, nigga, that. Now, nigga, that's fast. And I'm fresh as fuck if you ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going and I'm flashing. Now, nigga, that. Now, nigga, that. Now, nigga, that. VC could not be with us today. She's sick. VC, get well. But I do have Shy here. Hey, Shy, what's up? How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for coming on the show. You're very welcome. Well, tell people about yourself. Hey, everyone. My name is Shy. I am a third year public relations student here from Orlando, Florida. And my favorite part about fashion is having a statement piece. My statement piece would be a watch. And my style is sporty chic. Sporty chic. So explain sporty chic. Is it more... Kim K, is it more Beyonce? Explain it to me. So I love to have a pair of sneakers in my closet and throw it on with like a chic coat or just a nice blouse buttoned all the way to the top. Oh, so I like to okay. mix like chic fashion with streetwear. So you like to feel like you could go, you know, walk on the runway, but then go D somebody up on the back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're probably asking, who is this man sitting right next to me? Who are you? I am the one and only. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> um, who am I? What's my name? <laughs> oh, what's good, y'all? I'm Jay. I said that already. <laughs> this is Pass or Fail Nightcap Edition. So, if you don't know what Nightcap is, Nightcap is a party that's held eighth semester by the Capitals. It's very classy, very mm -hmm. upscale. Um, people come out and have a good time. Yeah. So, this first outfit. We Ooh. like gold. I know that's on the watch. Go, he like go on my everything. Chain. He yeah. man two chains. Too much. I love <laughs> Three the blazer. Three or four chains. <laughs> what do y'all think about the um, blazer? I think it is a bit much for me. Mm -hmm. um, I am a little bit more demure in my fashion and in my style, but that was... Um, he went all out there, and I, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, I like the loafers. I like the blazer. I'm not a fan of the hat nor the pants. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was clashing. It was a bit too much. I feel like he you know, got dressed in the dark. Okay, cool. So you'd rather him have stayed home? Yes, he could have stayed home. Basically. Cool. <laughs> I think that the blazer was a, it was it was nice. Mm -hmm. But I believe that simplicity is key. So Absolutely. maybe if he would have did some black slacks with it mm -hmm. and took off the hat, because it was just like too much trends in one mm -hmm. for yeah. me. To be real, if he yeah. were to wear that blazer on like um, New Year's, like a New Year's party, it would probably mm -hmm. be more appropriate. Right. But that yeah. right there wasn't. A, a fail for me. Fail for me. Um, can I give him an incomplete? Can he come back and retake the course? You know what, there's a nightcap next semester, so cool. we'll, we'll see you next try semester. Try again. No, try again. Next up, we have this red dress. Oh, I actually think it's like very sexy, it's very elegant. Um, she definitely did a good job. Her makeup is flawless, by the way. Cool. Her makeup is flawless. I just think the split is a little bit too extreme. Mm -hmm. But I definitely love a sandal heel. Maybe because of the weather, she could have put on a booty or like a stiletto, mm -hmm. close toe. But I do like the dress and I love her makeup. Overall, like, look, um, it's a lot of legs and thighs, like Popeyes, but do what you gotta do, mom. <laughs> so this next outfit, I like this I like outfit. the patterns and I love the color scheme. Definitely love that he had his shirt open, because that's something that's not it's done. It's very grown up. Yeah, yeah I love for it. Not kept to be a very elegant, very grown and sexy event, I think the, he stayed in concept, but he was still, mm -hmm. you know, um, very bold with his chest out. Yeah, yeah. the thing about it was that he kept um, his colors very muted so that that allowed him to do a bit more as far as the styling of it. Um, and he did have like the, the pop of color with the emerald, which is really good. I styled him, by the way, hashtag at Style by Jamal. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say pass. Pass. Definitely pass. She looked like, and I am you that you're not going to do that ever again, mom. <laughs> It was, I appreciate your thought and your effort into the outfit, but you look like you should stand next to um, the Dream Girls. And Truly. we need not any more Dina nor Effie, so <laughs> you can keep that wig you got. Fail? It. I'm going to fail. Uh, go ahead. Go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Fail for you. Um, I actually think this was very bold piece. Like I said, it's complete shimmer, complete. It's a lot. Um, I don't know if it was right for this occasion. Like I said, she does like mm -hmm. she, she should have been casting for, for a nightcap. No, what occasion is it okay ooh, for? Ooh, 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 um, it should have been left on the store rack. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just call the picture again? Can we see it again? Can we see it? That's like my, no, my senior high school prom. That's yeah, man. No. Yeah. That's a I, fail. 
it actually does like she's going to prom with the necklace and the, yeah. But no, she yeah failed. I'm your skin looks fail. very well moisturized in that picture. You though. can't even very. see her skin in the picture. I can. <laughs> So this segment is trending or not. <laughs> so, um, the first item we have is men leather pants. Do you own any pair of leather pants? I do not, but I wish I did. So I'm gonna say trend. Um, after seeing a lot of the shows this this season, this fall winter season, um, like the whole millennial trend is in. So I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for trending. Would you ever date a man that wore leather pants? I've never dated a man that wore leather pants, but that it's definitely that you know of. But it's, okay. it's, it's, it's definitely a trend for me, depending on how you wear it. So I wouldn't mind a pair of leather joggers, maybe, mm -hmm. or a leather pair of pants with like a long flannel. Mm -hmm. You just have to know how to dress them up. Right. This is yeah. true. Um. So is it a trend or not for you? Trending. Okay. So, I personally am a fan of leather pants. I don't own any because, you know, I live in Florida, so I don't have a need for leather pants. But it's definitely a trending for me. The next up, we have trench coats. Oh, always a trend. Trend. Trenches, pea coats, duffel coats, all that stuff is a staple in a man's, in a man's closet. It doesn't matter whether you have one, a t-shirt and jeans or a button down, it can always pull together a look. So that is forever trending. For How me. many tr trench coats do you have? I have I have three trench coats and two parkas and a bubble coat. But coats are See, just we like ain't asked about all of them. We hey, about I'm just coats. trying to give you all of the information. <laughs> <laughs> do you like trench coats? I actually love trench yeah, coats. I love oh, trench they coats. They keep you warm and they're very fashionable. So. I love a trench coat on a man. That is definitely a trend for me, especially around this time. Right. So if you got your trench coats, pull them out because you want to see them. Yes. I mean, I don't want to see them. I don't really care what you got on. I right. want to see them, <laughs> boys. Trend. Is this the cheetah? I don't like the cheetah. That is a gnaw. That is a gnaw for me. I would never want to see my man in cheetah. Really? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So not if he, even if he showed up, you know, the, the, the day is over, y'all done came home from work and he about to put it on you. He got not a little cheetah draw like, on for you. No, not even with like a pair of J's trying to make it look a little mm -hmm. bit more masculine. I just, I don't like cheat on me. That is, no. Yeah. Personally, oh. I think that, well, I'm a pretty adventurous person when it comes to style and interpreting fashion. So I think everything's great in moderation. So as long as you know what you're doing, mm -hmm. I can say it's, it's trending. Um, I'm definitely going to say no. Nah. Um, <laughs> yeah, super. I'm not a fan of like prints or men. I don't really think that goes. I, I think we should leave the prints to the females. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Who am I? So, nah for me. And that wraps it up for our trending or not. If you ever want to see any pieces that you want us to elaborate on, send them in, Snapchat us, Periscope us, Instagram us. We got it all at This Is The Fashion Vote or The Fashion Vote. So speaking of trending or not, what are some things that you guys would never get caught in? For me, it's um, slides and socks. Unless you are getting cast in the reproduction on Friday, do not do that. Don't. Why can't you wear slides with socks? Where are you going that you need to have on slides? To the grocery socks? store, Listen, to the mailbox? If you got to put on socks with your slides, you need to get your feet done. That's what that's, <laughs> that's, what that's really about. Take care of your feet, guys. <laughs> I will not get caught up in some Uggs. Oh, really? I'm, so, I'm sorry, I can't do it. They're super comfortable. I miss it, it looks super comfortable. I do have a pair in my closet, but I'm wearing them around the house. You guys will not put me on Yeti or on <laughs> Snapchat with my Uggs. So you what's your beef with Uggs? I just feel like they're ugly, like so <laughs> ugly. Like they're round, they have no shape, no colors, just one solid color. Whoa. I can't do it. There are a lot of people who are round with no shape and you just kind of offended <laughs> a lot of our audience. So. We just we love half it. We, we love them. We, love <laughs> we don't need you to dial it back, mama. <laughs> so something that I would probably never wear are boot cut jeans. I feel no. like it was definitely a a fashion train the back in the day, especially mm -hmm. for the Soulja ladies. Boy. Right. Days. But it's definitely now the baggy the baggy <laughs> jeans. <Soulja> Boy <laughs> the baggy jeans is not for me. I'm more with the either um slim or skinny jeans. So mm -hmm. you know I got a little bit of something in my pants. I can't wear no tight jeans. So I do like the boot cut for girls now. <laughs> I do like the boot cut for girls now. 
but if you're short like me, you just can't you like do it. Yeah, the wide legs can't that covers you. Mm -hmm. Well, so you could always do like um, a higher waist with the wider legs if you're short, and it'll make you. Or look take a, a pair of scissors and just well, um, you can cut, cut them off too. Cut some off. See, hey, she gave me good advice, but it's cut them off. So as always, we like to ask our guests, "What's in your vault?" So, Shai, what's in your vault? I love sporty chic fashion, like I said earlier, so in my vault, I would definitely say a nice sneaker because you can always dress that up or dress it down. So if you're running late for school, mm -hmm. I always love to dress a sneaker up. So would you consider yourself a sneaker head? Once in the past, but we're not going <laughs> to talk about that. I definitely had about 70 Jordans in my closet. Jeez, that's right. You money. I did. I did not. I was spoiled, <laughs> only child syndrome. No. But I definitely love a nice sneaker just because like a lot of females don't know how to do it. So I love to like just show it like on campus. So you saying you know how to do what everybody else can't. I you do what you want when you pop it. Okay. Hey. 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 <laughs> so Jamal, what's in your vault? Um there's a lot in my vault, but something that a is lot. like wow, okay. Hey, <laughs> on me. Um something that is like a constant state for me is a leather jacket. I could put on a t-shirt and some jeans and put on a leather jacket and look like a zillion bucks rather than a million bucks, which is what I usually look like. So I'd have to say three bucks. You know, hold up, hold up. <laughs> you wanna fight me or something? Um <laughs> maybe after maybe after. Okay, cool. Um, um so yeah, the leather jacket is, is what's good for me. Most definitely. Okay, well do y'all have anything going on for y'all stuff? What do y'all do outside of fashion? So, um, I pretty much have like my own creative production firm type thing, like I do graphic design, photography, I style, videographer, blogger, YouTube personality, all that great stuff. And then I'm also working on my launch party that'll be happening on March 27th, so you're on the lookout for that. And Are we invited? I don't know. I gotta see how y'all act. All right, see, you know, I'm into, not coming. I'm into <laughs> classic, kind of thing, you know. Well, hard to top that, but I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity to be on Fashion Vogue. Um, in my spare time, I love to, it's just creative. Like, I love to just dress my friends, mm -hmm. or I love to look up and blog new fashion. Mm -hmm. I'm a student, I'm, P, I'm a PR major here at FAMU. Oh, um, J School. <laughs> I love to get involved on campus, so I am chair of CAB. Shout out to CAB. Mm -hmm. I love to, if, um, God, I need to redo that. I love to help create events on campus. Oh, true, true. Yeah, I love doing that. So anything innovative? Well, innovative? the people say you look like Kim K. What do you have to say about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. But I definitely love her style. I definitely love her style. And I love to mimic it a little bit, like her hair. Um, very sleek. I love that look. And I love that she keeps everything together. So right. color schemes. If she's doing a leather or a winter look, it's just always put together very nicely, her fashion. Cool. Well, this wraps up another episode of the Fashion Vault. Like I said, snap us, tweet us, periscope us, Instagram us at the Fashion Vault. See you next time.